an eye out for some weird blooms in your garden. They may not be flowers at all. The fuzzy formations on your trees and shrubs are called plant galls. They are thought to be winter homes for various insects. And the bug experts at the Royal BC Museum are studying some of the puffy growths at the museum's own native plant garden. And here's some on a Nootka rose. Gall is kind of any growth you have on something. And it just looks like this fuzzy little mass that forms on the, the stem at a bunch of different places. We're in the native plant garden right out for the front of the museum. And you can find galls on different plants, usually all caused by different types of insects. At this point, it looks like a ball of moss, which is kind of neat because it actually is plant tissue that's grown out to look kind of like roots. And these galls are formed when you have an adult insect that'll fly around, find a nice spot on a branch or on a flower bud or on a leaf bud, will lay a little egg inside of the plant tissue and then over the course of the summer, as the plant's growing, it'll grow this ball of tissue around the insect, which forms the gall. But it also forms this perfect little winter home that keeps it preserved. It sort of forms this big chamber inside, could have dozens of little insect larvae developing in them inside of this tissue. The wasps that cause this on Nootka Rose is one specific tiny little wasp, not the big ones you see flying around that can sting you. These are tiny ones. Those are usually caused by wasps, but sometimes by flies, sometimes by moths. Galls are on a lot of different types of plants. So if you find one different plant, like an oak tree or an aster or a goldenrod, it'll have different insects that cause galls on it. This is an aster. So these are a gall which forms in the flower bud. These galls look kind of neat or maybe even a little scary, but they're not actually that dangerous to the plant. As you can see here, there's a lot of them on this Nootka Rose, but the Nootka Rose is okay. See, seeing galls in your garden is kind of a fun, neat thing. Um, one thing I'm gonna do here, working with the learning department at the, the museum, is we're gonna try to take some of them and hatch them out and see what comes out over the winter so we can identify it. Because one of the interesting things is we don't necessarily know which insects are on which plants. So we have to study them to be able to identify them because while gardeners see this all the time, we don't actually know what insects are causing them. So that's research for us. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.